Hey, what's up, people? This is Tokyo's video of the night, Friday night. And I hope you guys are enjoying the holidays. Christmas is almost around the corner. And like, comment, subscribe to Tokyo Del Rey. Okay? Uh, my eyebrows. I will not be getting no more eyebrow waxing. No more. No more eyebrow waxings for me. One is because when I get eyebrow waxing, it's not even a pain. It's my fear of wax accidentally getting all over my eyebrow and they might accidentally take the whole thing off. Two, the shades it gives. When they wax, it be a whole light skin pattern under. Which is, I understand it's kind of completely normal, but at the same time, I just don't like that, that, that look. It looks like somebody beat my eyes up to look nice or something. But anyway, today I noticed, um, my eyebrows, they had like a little bit of bumps going around where it's been shaving it. So I've noticed like maybe it's because the wax clog up the pores. It also, I feel as though it clog up the pores and it makes it more oily around. And I just don't really like it. And it's like, you can see, it's like two shades. It's really, really light. And then it got like my regular skin complexion. I don't like it. So today, I was like really plucking and plucking and plucking myself. I was like, wait a minute, maybe I could just get these plucked and threaded. But the threading part, oh my god, I just do not feel like going through that death, pain, horrible other experience of pain. And I never got them threaded before, so I wouldn't even know how I feel, but I do know it's going to hurt. But my eyebrows, I don't play. So I went ahead and took tweezers and did under here. I know this part is easy. I can tweeze myself and get that normal arch. It's just the top I'm more concerned about with the shape and especially coming down here. Um, so next time I get my eyebrows done, I'm going to go ahead and get them threaded and see how much it take off. Also, I noticed when you get your eyebrows waxed, it take off and shape up your eyebrow. Yeah, but it, if you like look really closely, you can see like half of your hair follicle like still in, you know your skin and I think that's what's also causing you know the bumps to come up so no more wax for me I'm done I'm completely done I feel as though it clogs up your pores it clogs up the skin it just it, it's just too much and it's too much of a risk and then it don't even give you the shape that you naturally want so I'm gonna go ahead and try thread next time I just want my eyebrows to look natural clean cut and full so next time I get these eyebrows done, they're gonna be okay. I'm gonna give a try for threading. But yeah, I just want my eyebrows to look, you know, natural, full, masculine, and you know, just full. Like something that you don't have to barely do anything to. Um, I know it's not me because how I take care of cleanse my face is. I don't add hot water. I keep like cool water to keep my pores closed. Like what I would do is like in the morning I rinse my face off with hot water, open up the pores, da da da. Cause in the morning my face is oily. But after that, after I do the hot water, I take a cool rag to wipe. As I wipe it, I know it's tightening in my pores. It's cleansing the pores out and everything. I know it's tightening the pores because when I go outside in the cold air I feel my face go and it's like everything is closed it's smooth it feel cleansed you know it's just more less things open and I don't want my pores to be open and clogged anything I don't want to create this on my face I don't play about my face I don't play about my skin skin is something that I care highly about too much and I do not play okay <laughs> but yeah I just want to try to threaten technique out and see how it is let me know what you guys think or any good techniques that you have to keep your face cleanse and i'll try them out look them up you know see what i can do okay